been on the whole time. But it, oh, it, it had been. battery when we, uh, I, put, I turned it on. Okay, so it didn't yeah. die. As long as it didn't die. Yeah. Just keep an eye on the health of this
Ladies and gentlemen, parents, faculty, and honored guests, welcome to the commencement ceremony for the Lewisburg High School class of 2017. We are honored by your presence. At this time, please join me in recognizing our special guest joining us on the stage this morning. Honor guests, please rise when your name is called. Representatives from the Central Office, Dr. Pascal Mavinga, Superintendent, Dr. Rhonda Spruler, Associate Su Superintendent, Danny Williams, Chief of Human Resources, Dr. Larry Webb, Executive Director of Aux Auxiliary Services, Lauren Jones, Career and Technical Education Director, our Board of Education, Dr. Elizabeth S. Keith, Chair, Peggy Salas, Vice Chair, Deborah Brody, Rosemary Champion, Bernard Hall, Gilbert Johnson, Thomas Piper. We thank you for being here with us today. Good morning and welcome to the commencement speech, commencement uh, ceremony for our class of 2017. You may have noticed that some of our graduates are wearing different color stoles and cords with their robes. We want to recognize those students. Students who are wearing stoles are our North Carolina academic scholars. In order to be considered an academic scholar, a student must successfully complete the program requirements as outlined by the State Board of Education and maintain an overall grade point average of at least 3.5 for the entire four years of high school. Students who are wearing white stoles have achieved high honors based on a GPA of 4.2 and higher. Will those students please stand and be recognized? Students who are wearing gold cords are members of our National Honor Society. 
Members must have and maintain a 3.2 or better unweighted GPA, as well as demonstrate leadership, community service, and good character. Will those members of the National Honor Society please rise and be recognized? <laughs> students who are wearing purple and white cords are members of the National Technical Honor Society. In order to be a member, students must complete a minimum of three CTE courses with a 90 or above in each course, with at least one of these courses being at a level two. Students must have an overall unweighted GPA of 3.25 or better. Will those members of the National Technical Honor Society please stand to be recognized? Yeah. Students who are wearing blue and orange cords received a four or higher on the ACT Work Keys test for our career and technical education courses. Will those students please rise and be recognized? Finally, students who are wearing light blue cords have been recognized as achieving honors in our band program through their high school career. Will those students please stand and be recognized? Congratulations to all those students. At this time, we'll begin the introduction of our salutatorian. Reed Willis has maintained an exemplary academic record while balancing athletics, school, and community activities. Recognized as a nominee for the 2016 Governor's School for Franklin County, Reed has been a member of the men's golf, football, swimming, and soccer teams through his high school career, being recognized as the 2016 LHS Athlete of the Year and the 2017, me, 2017 LHS Male Scholar Athlete of the Year. He is founder and president of the LHS Ducks Unlimited Varsity Club, the Hope Valley Forest Scholarship recipient, and a first degree black belt in Sekuban Karate. After graduating with a 4.89 GPA, Reed will attend North Carolina State University, where he plans to major in forest management. Please welcome salutatorian Reed Wilkes. Good morning, attendees of Lewisburg High School graduation. I understand that it's a little early in the morning to be all loud and cheery, but it's also a little early to be sad. Mom, Dad, hold it together for me back there. <laughs> So as Sensei Newton has often taught me, in stressful situations, we all just need to take a deep breath. <sighs> all right, now that we have calmed everyone's nerves, or at least mine, I'd like to see a smile from everyone. Because gathered before us, parents, teachers, administration, friends, family, coaches, is your Lewisburg High School class of 2017. <laughs> Now that we're all a little bit more upbeat, I'd like to start off with a story from freshman year. Just as all freshmen, rookies, first year should be, I was intimidated by seniority at high school. The seniors ruled the school as they should, and just as we did this past year. Nonetheless, as a freshman, I became friends with a senior named Caleb Allen. Many of us freshmen revered him as an athlete, musician, and as a person. One evening, he and I came back to the gym after school to play some basketball. <laughs> No coaches were around, and the cautious goody-two-shoes that I am, I asked, are you sure we're allowed to do this? Caleb fired back with an answer that I now understand as a senior. He said, dude, I'm Caleb Allen. <laughs> Caleb was a role model to me. To reference Reverend Gallagher Smith's homily from the baccalaureate service last week, Caleb was my Paul. She described how St. Paul was a mentor to others, just as Jesus was a mentor to him. I hope that we seniors can, one, recognize who our Paul was, and two, how to become a Paul for others. I would like to explore an analogy with you all today. This analogy, which is a comparison typically for the purpose of explaining, thank you, Ms. McDonald, <laughs> is a similarity between high school and birthday celebrations. Imagine a one-year-old birthday party, most similar to freshman year. As a one-year-old, you have very little memory of your first birthday. The party, just like freshman year, is just something you all have to get through. Some kids have a great time and most even get their first cake, but others may even poop their pants, as Coach Lasser might tell Max. <laughs> now the sophomore year, the five-year-old birthday party. So-called friends come mainly because of the cake, Parents yell at everyone because of roughhousing. In a more subtle way, 
Sophomore year, you aren't labeled freshman, but you often act like one. And that's why you have to take Ms. Bolton. <laughs> Junior year is very similar to your big sister's sweet 16. The older kids get all the recognition and achievements. You only get to invite your closest friends, and you just can't wait for it to be over with. Now let's talk about our last year. I believe senior year relates to one kind of party best. The parents left for the weekend. Let's throw a party party. <laughs> when you come to this type of party, you see many types of people, lots of diversity. The one always having a grand time, Haley. The one who likes to boss all the partiers around, Summer. The one who just likes to go with the flow and take it all in, Jay Ward. The one who's always worried about girls, Ethan Young. <laughs> the one always nervous about getting caught, Max Jones. The girls who are dancing like nobody's watching, but always seem to watch others very carefully. Lily, Carly, Haley, Hayden. And then there's me. The one who sorely comes in second place in all the party games to the one who always comes in first. Thanks, Mackenzie. <laughs> we celebrate a house party like seniors should, enjoying our time, making new friends, laughing and smiling. So I'd like to make this point again, parents. This is not a time to be sad, but yet celebrate. This class, these people sitting in front of you, have earned over a quarter of a million dollars in scholarship money. We should celebrate that. Nine people from this group are going on to play college athletics. Celebrate that. LHS, with the particip participation from this senior class, has won 26 conference championships in the last four years. <laughs> including men's soccer's first ever conference title. Thanks, Coach <laughs> We should celebrate that. Teachers, family, role models, coaches, Coach Sheldon, State 17. You all have raised an exceptional group of young men and women. So celebrate that. Celebrate and smile with me, class of 2017. Womack, we are all Lewisburg proud. Go Warriors. <laughs> Mackenzie Parker Wood has been an incredible example of a warrior for the past four years. She's been in the Student Government Association for three years and was a president her senior year. She attended the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Camp at NC State and was a member of the National Honor Society. She played three sports throughout her high school career, volleyball, basketball, and softball. During her senior season, Mackenzie led her volleyball team to the state championship game and was named the conference player of the year. She also played in the regional championship for softball where she was named MVP. She won the WRAL Extra Effort Award and was recognized as the LHS Female Scholar Athlete for her outstanding performance in the classroom and on the court. After graduating with a 5.05 weighted GPA and a 3.94 unweighted GPA, she will be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill to major in biomedical engineering. Please welcome our valedictorian, Mackenzie Parker. <laughs> As your valedictorian, it is such an honor to be standing here speaking today. But I would not be here without the help of someone I look up to. So first, I would like to thank my mother. Mom, you have supported me through every decision, helped me with every accomplishment, and showed me love each and every day. No one will ever compare to you. I would also like to thank those that have become a role model to me. I aspire for my character to be as strong as yours one day. Now, speaking to the class of 2017. <laughs> today, we are facing a universal truth, that endings are inevitable. Even the best things in life come to an end, such as the last day of summer, the closing chapter of that really good book, even the final dance at prom, once something is started, an ending will come. So the leaves begin to fall, the book is closed, and the music of that wonderful night goes off. Today marks one of those days for us. We are officially saying goodbye to everything we've ever become familiar with. 
As we turn those tassels, we are no longer high school students. It may hurt now, but class, we're moving on. As the 35th president, John F. Kennedy, once said, change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. So remember all those good memories over the past four years, but do not let them be the highlight of your life. Rather, let them drive you to make even better ones in the future. Starting today, the rest of your life depends on you. Remember, no one owes you anything, so your personal achievement is what you make it out to be. I understand that we do not choose where we come from, but where we go is a personal choice. If you don't like certain parts of your life, take steps to change it. If you reach a goal, set another goal, because we should never be satisfied. Unfortunately, you will run across people that do not want to see you succeed, or rather do not even care if you fail. That is a lesson I have learned this year. That is when you fight your hardest and take this hardship as a good thing, because personal growth comes from a struggle. The most successful people in life did not have anything handed to them, and I want us to be among them. With a little hard work and some heart behind it, you can make the possible things a reality. So let walking across this stage today be the first of many accomplishments because we are the class of 2017. And we're looking for something great. Thank you. Thank you, Reed, and thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you for your parents and friends. We will now move on to the presentation of diplomas. I would ask the audience's support and cooperation in continuing to maintain the dignity of this special ceremony. This is a very important occasion for the class of 2017, and we ask that we hold your applause until each group of graduates, divided alphabetically and introduced by our assistant principals, has crossed the stage. I will present the diplomas to our graduates. My colleagues, Ms. Crystal Taylor-Simon and Mr. Dante Coates, will read the names of the graduating seniors. Good morning. Are we ready for this? Yeah. All right. Alexis Rochelle Allen. Noah Alexander Allen. Terry Lamont Allen, Jr. Brianna Janae Austin. It's sorry, Andrade Ramirez. Madeline Claire Askew. Kelsey Marie Barr. Akila Janelle Battle. Amanda Zoe Rowan Beck. Rashawn Bowden. Brian Matthew Bridge. Thomasina Nicole Brody. Chandler Avery Broughton. Danielle Charnay Brown. Emily Jo Bumgarner. Destiny Tierra Butcher. Fabian Azael 
Kalamako. Jessica Lucille Caldwell. Al Malik Donnell Kennedy. Stashad Siwan Clark. Cheyenne Lynn Collier. Anna Laura Contreras Ramirez. Zykea Shante Copeland. Susana Cornejo. Erin Mary Crosby. Alexis Nicole Davis. Edward Boyette Denton. Please, again, we ask that we remain silent until we get through the graduates for this section of the names. Dylan James Dickerson. Cassidy Mary Rose Dula. Avante Malik Edwards. Rique Antoinette Edwards. Oh, Ashley Amber Ellis. Quentin Dante Epps. Oh, Nicholas. Alexander Finn. Joshua Alexander Perry Forsyth. Ladasia Danielle Foster. Sarah Ann Foster. Ariana Ashton Fuller Bell. Daniel Garcia. Fernando Garcia. Jose Luis Garcia. Hayden K. Gardner. Shane Gerald. Alicia Anaya Green. Lillian Rose Gupton. Sarah. Elizabeth Gupton. Haley Nicole Hackley. Desiree LeMay Harris. Brian Tyrone Hayes Jr. Guillermo Hernandez Zuniga. Eliseo Hernandez Contreras. Shayna Rochella Hicks. Michaela Charney Holden. Tyreek 
Jaquan Holden. Dylan Robert Hudson. Ivan Yair Huerta Soto. Charlia Brianna Jones. Josh Joshua Paul Jones. Let's take a pause and now celebrate this group of graduates.
Marilyn Marie Perry. Walter Laquan Perry. Quaymon J. Person. Summer Gabrielle Phillips. Jessica Lynn Price. Kenneth Maurice Richardson, Jr. Carly Logan Robertson. Brian Rojas Robolar. Pedro Orozco Roja. Christian Michael Rowe. Michael Anthony Rush III. Octavio Saldana Collins. Alexis Grace Salter. Rebecca Yahu Sarpo. Octavius Trey Scoggins. Tatiana Terrell Sega. Noah Ivy Sharon. Abby Lee Stott. Asia Satoria Strick. Jody Lane Summerlin. Javante Terrell Taylor. <laughs> Jatiana Michelle Thomas. <laughs> Haziel Terrell <laughs> Vasquez. Joanna Torres. Oh. Anaya Dominique Tucker. <laughs> William Eric Tucker. Jonathan Thomas Ward. Gabriel Donovan Whaley. Reed Alfred Wheelis. Jessica Glenn Whitley. Savannah Olivia Wilkerson.
Latia Janae Williams. Amani Elise Wilson. Sean David Wilson. <laughs> Mackenzie Parker Wood. <laughs> Imaji Mikael Wood. Allison Brooke Young, Ethan Cole Young, Andrew Joseph Ziegler, that's all I get this group of congratulations. that each person being awarded a diploma has satisfactorily completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Franklin County Board of Education and the North Carolina State Department of Public Instruction and is therefore eligible to receive the high school diploma awarded this day. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you the Lewisburg High School class.
Yeah, man. How do you, how do you get this trap out of To go down. How do you get it to go but, down? Uh, with the key that's standing up. You know, and you couldn't see, but it's it's all right. I think if we set it up like this from the gate. Did you guys stop doing it? Yes. Yeah. I hit the ball and stop.